are innovating to address the smallholder dairy farmers' most pressing problems. That is poor incomes, low productivity, and, uh, and expensive feeds. Fifteen years ago, we started tropicalizing sugar beet as an alternative energy crop for livestock in Kenya from uh, dairy meal. And uh, we have now finalized and tropicalized the sugar beet to grow in Kenya from the coast, northeastern, highlands, and the lake region. The advantage of sugar beet is that it has more energy per unit weight than dairy meal. Uh, and it is um, 10 times cheaper than dairy meal and smallholder farmers can grow it on their own land. Uh, so we are now promoting it, taking it to smallholder farmers like uh, Simon Pareyo in Kajiado. And uh, right now we are on his uh, trial plot and it has done very well. We are getting uh, about 100 tons per acre of sugar beet. And uh, when we feed it one, one tuba per day to the cow, we are achieving a 44% increase in the milk yield. That directly translates into 44% increase in their revenue. Sugar beet is liked by cows very much, and even chicken. But the cows, from my experience, increases milk. Uh, so we are trying to help them um, uh, increase their incomes, create jobs, and help the animals because uh, sugar beet has more energy to, to maintain the cow. Dairy milk costs 36,000 shillings per ton. Most smallholder farmers cannot afford it. So they don't feed their animals with dairy meal as their energy source. So the animals, instead of producing 40 liters of milk per day, they are getting 10 liters of milk. That is leaving money on the table. So all we need is an intervention. They grow their own energy feed, and they, they, they have more money in their pocket. So now they are able to feed their, their animals with a little bit more of the energy crop. That increases their milk yields and it, it, it brings a, a long, healthier herds. And when you have healthier livestock, then the, 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 the rate of uh, diseases goes down, the infections and uh, so th there is a lot of benefit. We, we, we have a, an economic benefit, we have a social benefit, and we have uh, an environmental benefit because um, sugar beet is a climate adaptation crop. It will grow even in very dry areas in the deserts. As IRDA, we will use a grant to scale up very rapidly, uh, focusing on Kiambu County and then scaling up uh, nationally so that we are able to reach uh, 20,000 farmers in the next one year. Uh, it will help us uh, bring the product in front of the farmers. It will help us uh, uh, pivot the farmers from uh, dairy meal or, or no energy crop to an energy crop. It will help us increase the uh, milk yields uh, from uh, the farmers' cows. We have a solution that works. It's disruptive. It is innovative. Sugar beet has never grown in, uh, in the tropics. It has never grown in Kenya before. KCJF would be catalytic. We need partners to work, to scale nationally, and then go across the borders to Eastern Central Africa. And we are already in Kenya, we are already in Uganda, we are already in uh, Somalia. We are in Tanzania in small pilot scales. Those pilot scales, because they have proved uh, that they are viable, need to be scaled very quickly. Mm -hmm.